Congress hey, went hey. to Red right. underscore Jaking just subscribe. Y'all stop with the subs. All right, chat. Two worlds are finna collide. We got Castillo back on episode three. Let's hear him out. This is an important episode. Let's listen to Castillo. Let's listen to Castillo, chat. I don't really, I don't really insult women and stuff like that. I think it's a bit mad. I can't argue with Gal. Then it's nice. like I feel like if I'm doing that, yeah. Then I got next thing I gotta be on RuPaul's Drag Race, bruv. I'm getting with Gal in that. <laughs> You get me? Like, yeah. it's gonna be a bit mad. I can't be arguing with Gal. That's yeah. a bit mad. That's something chat would do. I can't lie. Y'all seem like the type to argue with Gal. But Reese, don't argue with Gal. Why would I? There's no such thing. Castillo first, aka the main event, aka the sniper, bruv. Shout the out to your sniper. baby. Man. Now, what? big man's in here. We live in a world full of clout chasers, bruv, and I'm sick of it. Why can't a real G like me find some real love, bruv? Real you get love. nosebleeds when you get the wrong nun bread. How this is gonna work is I'm actually gonna slap money in front Real. of these gal, bruv. 1,000 for my eternal love. And I'm gonna try and find out if the gal that I'm here for the money and clout. The gal, yeah. for real love, bruv. Big man ting, this is clout chasers, bruv. So, my name is Katerina. Hello, and Katerina. I'm an actress and stand up comedian. I'm here for love. A comedian? Y'all told me girls wasn't funny. You literally told me girls wasn't funny. She getting paid for it. Oh, definitely. I mean, let's see I have dated in I want to laugh. Time, so, yeah, definitely looking to meet someone and see how it goes. My perfect man has to be funny because I do stand-up comedy, so they have to they have to have great humor. Makes obviously. sense. Makes sense. Um, I would say passionate, driven, um, and just loyal and respectful. Like, okay. Respectful of my time. Yeah. And yeah, fun to be around. I deem love more important, definitely, when it comes to a relationship. Obviously, when it comes to my work. All right, she not giving me no comedy initially. What's going on, lady? I don't want to hear nothing else. What is this? Get me. Them proper fur. things. Yeah, yeah, proper things. What, like real rabbit fur? Yeah, yeah, from Zara and that. Yeah, you look hey, nice. Where are you from? Thank you. Um the underscore real underscore Q underscore just subscribed. Shut up. Yo, long time no see Baldy. You keep subbing, you won't see me ever again. Shut up. I'm from Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Do you know like Stevenage, uh -huh. Hatfield? Uh -huh. Yeah, you, I had a few things up there, like around Hitchin. <laughs> you had a few yeah, things yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I know about them places there. Okay. So. You, know, you know that way. Okay, yeah, but cool. I've got to ask you something before, yeah. we start, yeah, before we start off or anything. Go on, like, yeah. Do you like black guys? Do I like black guys? That's important. Black guys. You know what? Are? You know, I really like, okay, this, this is my chat, Idris Elba. Mm. Oh, love Idris Elba. Idris In Lufa. Elba. Have you watch Lufa? Yeah, I, I don't look like that though. You don't look like that. No, no, no. <laughs> don't look like Idris yeah, Elba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, Better he's really that. hot. Yeah. Yeah, but I've been out though. with black guys, yeah. Mm, Interesting. What do you kind of think about that though? Parents, they're not, they're not like racist or anything. We don't know that. <laughs> so they wouldn't mind <laughs> me the main that. event. They wouldn't mind that. They wouldn't mind if you're black or mi yeah, black mixed race. Yeah, mm. they would, they wouldn't mind. It's not at all. Like That's that. a like likely that. story. I'm Greek anyway. I'm half Greek. Greek. Cypriot. Yeah, I'm half mm. Greek, Cypriot, half English. So. Exotic things. I like that. <laughs> exotic. <laughs> exotic things. Exotic. You get me? I like that. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay. Obviously, you know, I'm looking for love. Yeah. Yeah, me. I'm looking for a serious thing, trying to settle down in that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about sex on the first date? I personally wouldn't have sex on the first date. Oh! But if a woman decided to have sex on the first date, I wouldn't like judge them for it because okay. I don't know. Sometimes you just get really horny and it happens. It just, it just happens and like it that. Just happens. It just happens. We got cheers to that. It just, it I just would happens. smash for sure. We all know you would. Shut up. It just happens like I love that. I try not to have sex on the first date just because if I'm serious about someone, I sort of want to. Yeah, hey, see how it goes. And then you've got yeah, Hi, then, 695, just subscribed. And you've got something to look forward to as well. Like, yeah, you're trying to protect the gift in that, you get me? Well, yeah, just kind of see what see what happens. Yeah, I, no, I feel yeah. you can't be giving out the naan bread in that to everybody, you get me? Not everybody deserves the naan bread. Nobody. You, know, you got to pace that <laughs> no, out. Yeah, exactly. Not everyone deserves it. No. The naan bread. So I've got to ask you this as well, though. My DMs is a mad thing. Ooh. Have you got a lot of DMs? Like? My DMs is a mad thing. I've got girls from mad North team. London, South, East, What's West, Bear, yeah. Galchester, Everywhere. Birmingham, all of that. What's the worst DM like you've ever had from a girl? Like the, the, worst? the worst one, like what's the most shocking been? Like I've had like girl message me their non brand in that, but the really? worst one was when a girl messaged me I thought I saw the back off, the back off was looking mad. Yeah. I was like, yo, Ooh, turn around, it was off. a dick breath. Huh? What? No word of a lie. Oh my god. Bull bags and all of that, what did, did you reply to it? No, did you, say, you didn't say No, bruv. <laughs> shout out to the LGBT community, bruv. You get me? Yeah, well. yeah. How you mistake the... What? How you even mistake that for that? That don't even make sense. How do you get that mixed up? 
What is what's up with his glasses? Now I gotta blame the sniper. Cause you supposed to have good vision being a sniper. Now I gotta question his whole I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what? No word of a liar. Oh my god. Full bags and all of that. What bruv. did you reply to it? No, did you bruv. say you didn't say No bruv. But shout out <laughs> to the LGBT community, bruv. You get me? You yeah, yeah. You get course. me? The man was feeling a bit saucy that day. He thought, yeah. you know what, let me show man my ball bags and that. So, it's his choice. You there's get me? You've got to respect the choice. There's nothing wrong with sending a nudes. Although I don't think, I've never sent hey, a hey. pic never. to someone. No. Super Tao Twitches just subscribed. Like on, like What's up, nude, Reese? But not just she never sent a full on. Of, yeah. Because you never know, your folk could be all up in Chekhov's or Douglas Stan right now. You would never know. <laughs> I'm not like, um, wow, well, I wouldn't want this to be all on like Skites or something. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Speaking Websites. of which though, have you ever made a sex tape? I made a sex tape. Just when it got good, they trying to get, listen, this right here will prove if she lying. She never took a picture of her area. If you doing the tape, you gotta have it on that footage. She was lying. We caught her in the middle of her lie. We caught her in the middle of her lie, and I think I paused the commercial, but none of that is important. This big nose bird. With, like with a boyfriend, shit. I've made a sex tape, yeah, mm. with a boyfriend. It's been on camera. She just said she never had it. I mm. can't but do not this, with, bro. like, a random person, no. With a boyfriend, though. See, the yeah. thing is, I've done that with a random person or some mm. next thing I met on a, at a rave, innit? And then... Oh, was it awkward? Went back to, well, we went back to our yard and we was getting into the thing and a brethren started filming me. I thought that was a bit a mad. A brethren? Like yeah. a girl was a bit mad just filming me in the background and that. You right. get me? And it was a bit... It was, yeah. Yeah, you get me. It sounds me. like a full-on porno. Yeah, it's a bit mad. I feel like... Can I, can I get it anywhere if I want to watch it? Is it up No, I feel like I want to tell the feds about that, you know? It's a bit <laughs> mad. Like, I'll never become president now because this is mad incriminating information like that. You get me? Man weren't really prepared for that. She just caught me off guard. Yeah. You get me? I'd be quite shocked by that. I think it's like consent as well. Like you've got a consent mm, you get me. to you got things like that. You respect consent. You get me. Well, you do. You can't just. I like you that. You can't just be whipping out your phone and like filming Makes sense. Sex. Big man thing. I like so that. But this is what I wanted to ask you though. Mm. So, are you a jealous person though? I'm very secure in myself. Oh. However, I don't know. Say, say we're here. We're here having this date, right? We're and here. say a girl who you used to, I don't know, hook up with, comes up to you and is like hugging you, and you're like, oh my god, I'm so happy to see you. I would be sitting here. Getting a little bit jealous, yeah. Whoa. And I turned around to you and was like, "Why are you looking at your slag, babe? Don't watch me." Oh, I wouldn't call her a slag. No, That's but what she fun. said that to you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna. You, you, oh, I what are you gonna do? You're gonna oh, bust I, her up? Oh uh, yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. No. What's your move then? What's your What's your move that you're gonna do? Let me what's see. My move? Yeah, like when see. she says like, "Yo, why are you watching me? Let's get all blad. Why are you watching me?" And she's a road girl, isn't it? So she's on a road girl. Yeah. You get me? So she's like. I don't know, Sunita, like, that's her name. Let's call her Sunita. She's like, Sunita. Like, what about you watch? Shut up, yeah? And then she starts putting it on you. I just wow. give her a strong backhand. That weak ass fucking move. Like a Peggy Mitchell East End. Peggy guy. Mitchell. Like and call the feds. Yeah. You get yeah. me? You would call the feds, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, yeah. You, would, you would call the feds. You work well, with the feds. This lady told us she a comedian. She been the one laughing all. She ain't make not one joke talking about she gonna backhand bitches. What is she talking about? Yeah, cool. Peggy yeah. Mitchell. Okay, what is that? On okay, on, on her. No, 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 no. Okay. No, not on you. You haven't done. I got, I got a spudgy you from it. That's a different. You haven't done anything wrong. So. I like that. Like, so let me ask you this though. This is like, leads into my next question. Yeah. Okay. So. I do a mad thing. Uh-huh. Mad yeah. thing. You do a mad thing. I do a mad thing. Mad yeah. thing. The what feds come and get me. Oh, you do? Okay, I was thinking. I do a mad thing. Right, yeah. okay. The feds come. Nothing zesty, innit? Oh. Nothing zesty, yeah. innit? Yeah, I do yeah. a mad thing. Mm -hmm. The feds come and get me. Yeah? Weir, weir. Kick down your door. They take me. It's a mad thing. Like, you're like, yo, what's going on, yeah? Okay. I'm about to do 10 years <laughs> with the man them up in there, bruv. They want to take my body. It's mad. I'm oh! Like, Do I have to be one of those prison wives that keeps like yeah. visiting you and being like, oh, and then I have to write you letters? Exactly. Will you hold it down? I don't know if I'm about that. You wouldn't hold it down? Well, I don't so, know. I don't want to be one of those prison women. You know those girls who date like guys who are in prison and then they're writing them letters like... So then how soon after are you on another willy after I've been locked up? After they put me That's there? a good but question. How long have we been together at this point? It's been a year. A year. Me, that's enough time. A year. That's still quite a long time to be with someone. I don't think I'm gonna like jump on someone's straight away. How long though? What's what's the estimate? Three to five business days thing? What, what is it? <laughs> what, what are we talking How long about? do you think she's waiting, thing, Chad? Two weeks? How long? No, I'll, t I'll take my time. I think when I usually like if a if a relationship ends for me. Wait, time out. I just thought about that. When he said he going to jail, why did he say they gonna be on his body? Did he? Why did he? He used him an example. Him going to jail. Why the men on his body? What did that have to do with this story?
That literally had nothing to do with this story once you think about that. He, he, all he had to do is say, I'm going to jail. He said, the man did not want my body. <laughs> Why'd he add that part? Five business days thing. Where is it? <laughs> what, what are we talking about? No. International things, two weeks? No, I'll, I'll take my time. I think when I, usually like if a, if a relationship ends for me, yeah. I take a good month, a okay. month and a bit. A month so like, and until, a bit. I, until I sleep with someone else. Yeah, I'm not like jumping in straight away. No, 30 days is jumping like back in. <laughs> I mean, why did you go into what? What? what was I did it? a mad thing. Mad like, like thing. Like dealing or something. No, I literally had to clap man's whole face off. I mean, he's oh no way, man. shit. I'll repeat to him and everybody in his bloodline. Clapped his whole face off. Overseas is insane. Yeah. He's gone. You never see man again. He's a ghost. Be with a murderer. Overseas yeah. drip. But wouldn't you find that a bit sexy though? The fact that I didn't clap man's head is off. Clap like man's off. head off. Man got rude. I had to clap his face off, bruv. Went over to his yard. Man's got rude, had to clap his face off. The dialect of this overseas drip is insane. Clapped off everybody. Like the whole everybody family getting clapped. I had to wipe off everything. There's <laughs> nothing left. How could I bring a murderer home to my mum and dad? It wouldn't excite you, though. You wouldn't, at the corner of your mind, like, yo, he's a bit sexy, a bit dangerous. Still, like, you know, you're killing people. Not, not really. No. Never. <laughs> okay, if you, like, I don't know, if you just sort of, like, rough someone up a little bit, okay, maybe that's Roughed him someone, up. Maybe, yeah. but not, like, full-on murder, no. I rate you for being honest. Yeah. You get me? I rate you for being good, honest, good. yeah? Okay, yeah, let's, let's change the topic, innit? That was getting a bit, that was that's getting a bit. That's insane. Yeah. Check. I, I, that is a similarity that we don't have over here in the states. When you, when someone's getting clapped, <laughs> that is a totally different meaning over here. They clapping a man whole face off, chat. That sounds like something y'all be doing. Y'all be clapping these men's faces off. Jesus. How freaky are you? Oh. I am quite kinky. Mm. I like handcuffs and things handcuffs. like that. Yeah, a little, a little bit kinky. A I little. Like, I, you know, I won't wear like a gimp mask or something. You like whipping men yeah. in that? You can whip me like with a spanking paddle. Oh! You can get these like paddles, right? And they have little like air holes in them. So then if you spank me, it will leave like a little mark. What in the that's world cool. is she it's into? Zesty still, but that's, I feel that's you. Quite hot. Yeah. Ooh, I yeah. must have beat a ting in Tinseltown toilets once. <laughs> in what? Tinseltown in, 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 in what's it, Farringdon. She you like getting beat on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I beat I a ting in Tinseltown toilets. Like we literally went on a date. And in the moment that's caught, she was just like, come with me. Come with yeah. me. I was like, oh, where are we going? I was like, oh, where are we going? Yeah. <laughs> so like, do, you say, do you say you do really well on dates then, that women just like have to have sex with you straight yeah. away? She was salivating. I could see it in her face. She wanted the main event. I could see it. I could <laughs> she see wanted it. I could the see main event. Face. I knew it. Okay. But then when she took it, she took Honey, me to baby. I'm Honey, listening baby. to the story, oh. bro. What's cracking young Reese with your bald head self? No cap shorty look a little goofy. Motherfucker, you're goofy. That's how you can tell. She's taking me to the bathroom, then she takes me to the ladies' toilets. And I was like, oh, God, like, now I'm going to be in the register, bruv. What's, what's going on? I want to be there. I think man caught chlamydia or something, bruv. It's a bit mad. Oh, yeah, okay. Bruv. He I caught what? With a celebrity, a famous person. No, I've never slept with a famous person. No. I'm surprised, you know. I'm very surprised. You're surprised? Yeah, you look, you look, you're a beautiful woman. I thought, <laughs> do you get what I mean? Your Instagram no. would be popping. No. Footballers and that. I haven't, no. I've had, like... Some famous famous people slide in the oh, DMs, be but I haven't like gone thing. out and like slept with them or anything. Because also, it's like I don't want to date someone just because they're famous. Like they're kind of famous. What like like Gus from EastEnders and that? <laughs> no, Keith. but someone from EastEnders actually did slide is it in Keith? my DMs. Keith from EastEndersers. Keith. Keith. Who, who, Remember Keith? What like, is EastEnders? He was like the dad, and he wore like the jacket, and he had like the hair. Keith. No, I do not remember that at all. Keith, you got how about Trevor? Remember Trevor from EastEnders? I remember Trevor, yeah, yeah Trevor, the, the wife, the, yeah, the beater, Trevor, Trevor's the mad, wife beater. Trevor's a mad guy. Like, yeah. She mad. does have a mad. big no, nose. He, he That's interesting. Yet, no. What, like an extra, like like Winston? It was a... Right? <laughs> the random black No, it wasn't extra. Little... It was somebody who's actually like has had like a long running part on EastEnders mm. and stuff. Yeah. Shout out to Phil, bro. It was a... <laughs> don't know, bro. Shout out to Phil, bro. I saw him one time in Eden, bro. Phil Mitchell's not really my type, so no. Well, I don't know what bald. show this is. My dad's bald. My dad's mm. bald. Doesn't that be like, can your dad? Mad thing. I don't know all about it. We don't condone that here, bruv, on the on the yeah. Clout Chaser show, bruv. We don't condone that. You don't condone bald? I gotta turn this the fuck off. Is he talking about the dad thing or the fact that bald men? You get me? We're not on that. Some I'm really looking for love. I'm really looking for that special That's person. It's a good place to be. Yeah. You How about you? When was your that? last relationship? It was literally just before the pandemic started, so March 2020 it ended. Okay. And then since then I've been single. Okay. So, so why why did it end? 
Well, you know what? The we panoramic. Just things like we kind of got together very quickly. Oh. Um, and then we ended up just yeah wanting different things. Like I I do stand up comedy, Ooh, and nice, he does nice. he does comedy. I'm sick of this fucking lady. She mentioned stand up comedy ten fucking times. I've not heard one fucking joke. She keeps saying she do stand up. Well, she need to sit her dumb ass the fuck down. She keep talking about this. I do stand up. I do stand up. Bitch, say one funny thing. She keep playing, man. Comedy as well, and I think there was this sort of like competitiveness between us. And it just didn't really work. So Competitive as well. And I think there was this sort of like competitiveness between. What the fuck kind of relationship is that? How have you heard two funny people in a relationship and they're competitive about who's funnier? I've never heard that be a problem. I've never in my life heard that be a problem. How are y'all competitive about being funny? Between us, and it just didn't really work. So uh, yeah. You do stand up comedy, yeah, so you're a funny person. Yeah. Tell me a joke, you're gonna make me laugh. I mean, most oh, of my jokes are quite inappropriate, like dick jokes and like. Okay, this go. And like dating jokes and things yeah, that's like fine. that. So, one guy said to me, he said, um, Are you a New Year's resolution? Because I plan on doing you for the first few weeks of January and then forgetting about you for the rest of 2020. Nancy. That's one chance that's, that's I had. That's a bit mad still. Yeah, and that right did actually one. happen to me as well. For real? Yeah, so that was quite So, you sad. got the non bread and you just go. The stand up comedy we're going with, lady? Huh? That's the fucking comedy? I'm so disappointed and let down. I've been hearing all these great things. I do stand up. I do stand up. I'm really in the stand up. I can't get over this. And then he just went, yeah, I was a new person. Stop with the fucking bits. Solution, basically. So I want you to tell me if, if you like my joke. You're really funny. You could, would you do stand up comedy? Nah. Why? Because life ain't that funny, but life is a mad thing for me. To be fair though, most of the things that are funny in stand-up is like you moaning about life, life anyway. I've like got, like got two jokes, yeah? All right, okay. One of them somebody told me, mm. and it used to make me bust up, but it's a bit of a mad one. Make yeah? me bust and up? The other one is a joke that I would tell. So I got a funny joke that I would say to, to people. Okay, say it does. Like, to mend them, like, like, your dick's so small, you pee on your own balls, babe. <laughs> How old are we, man? Why he look like Reese with a perm? That he don't look shit like me. That's number one. Number two, what are we talking about? <laughs> that's that's dope. That's jokes, don't it? Yeah, you're busting up. You like that? Yeah? I mean, it's quite silly. It's very silly. It's very it's silly, very silly, silly humor. Silly joke. But then this is the joke somebody mm. told me. What is it? It was told one? to me by a guy in college. Yeah, he was okay. a grunger. You know what grungers are? I don't know. A what, grun they what? Like grungers in like grungy. He was like a gothic like, guy. A he's, gothic guy. Yeah, oh, he's long hair. he dirty. Like. He yeah. was kind of, he kind of gave me like Unabomber vibes. I'm not gonna lie. I felt he was gonna wrap off the whole school. I was very afraid of him. This is why I befriended him because I thought if he was gonna go and lock off the whole thing, bruv, he would remember his one black brethren and be like, yo, and then save me, bruv. Write that down, Chad. You ever feel like someone is a danger, be their friend. And everybody else would be gone, bruv. Right, yeah? okay. But just a quick story about him, yeah. I went on his Facebook the other day, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's on some EDO thing. It's a mad thing. E EDO. EDO. What does that even sound? Tommy Morris Hob Robinson and them man there. He's oh. one of them man. He shaved his gothic hair. Now. Okay, right. He went to a goth right. to a racist. Man. Something not making like sense, that. man. What is going on? He just keeps saying words and phrases that I'm thinking overseas people understand. But this lady just as lost as me with every phrase he's saying. No, it's not making sense. Did they create a, a language? Did he make up language? Did he make it up? She don't even understand what he's saying. A racist goff man. Yeah. But this is the joke that he told me. He said, yeah. why did the girl fall off the swing? Why? Why did the girl fall off the swing? Because she had no arms. That's, <laughs> that's a bit a, mad, isn't that's it? That's an awful joke. Yeah, that's because he. That, I should have clocked that he was a sick youth from back then. That's he was a, a mad yeah, guy. Yeah, no, that's a bad joke. That's a bad, yes. But he's shout out to him. I don't know what he's going through, bruv, but... Black lives matter, bruv. Don't be moving mad, bruv. Yeah. What you What are you feeling about black people? No, I'm just what? joking. I'm, I'm taking. What a, I try and mess you up. What the fuck do that. is going on on this date? Yeah. This one I want to ask you though. Yeah. yeah. Who's your favorite rapper? Stormzy. I do actually love his stuff. What's, what's, what's your great. favorite Stormzy song? The one that's so ever. Yeah, even know that. So no, no, I know. I know who he is. Obviously, I'm not very good at naming songs. There's some where he's. Uh, what's the What's the song? Yeah, take your time. I don't even know, bruv. You tell me. You know them people when you say, oh, I know that. I know about him. Nice. Stormzy, I do like his rap music. I just can't name the song. If Stormzy came here right now, bruv, and he started splashing out cash and all that stuff, he just put out a rack of money, Whoa. pulled out in the range outside, Whoa. got in the big yard, all of that, and he came out, started flashing his money, would he be able to steal you from me? Um, 
not no. I'm not really impressed by someone just throwing money up in the air. He's got the big boy Roly though. The Roly is mad. Yeah, it's big watch. watch. I don't like when guys do that though. The whole like Rolex thing. But then he pulls out the keys. It's like an Audi R8. It's got the futuristic thing. Audi. Audi. Three thousand and thirty-three. The shit flies. Mm, yeah, no, cars mean nothing to me at all. Mad no, too. You know. But I mean. He, he's a good looking guy though. He's hot. Mm. Like uh -oh. I would I would think he was very attractive. Uh -oh. But I wouldn't be tempted because he was showing me his Rolex. And she lying. Car, Look at him. I know a lot of girls like that. materialistic you know. things. I know a lot of girls like that. She's they justifying why she would cheat on him. Rolly and then that's it. <laughs> well girls do this thing. Like I actually did a sketch about it, right? Where we're on a date. She go Say with I have the my job. phone at the table where I'll take a picture, but I just won't get your face in. I'll get them watching. Oh, and imagine. then they'll put it on their story and be like, date night. Don't mm, they? And girls yeah, do that. Do that. Yeah, girls do, do that. that all the time. And it's a bit what the fuck? She thinks she drewski. She makes situational comedy. What the fuck is she talking about? I do this little skit where I take a picture of the guy and I show his face. We don't give a fuck about that. What are you talking about? Yeah, girl are going to Dubai and getting weed on, bruv. It's a mad thing. <laughs> Full we in their face, bruv. A bit okay, right, yeah, so right. Girl are moving mad out here for the money. That's why I'm on I this thing, to trying God. to find out if it's level money. Yeah, level I think, yeah. So is that why you're on this show, basically? That's to, why I'm trying to find to the right find woman. The, Real the right love. Woman. Right, exactly. Okay. But I've got to ask you this, yeah? So, like, we're here together. I'm looking yeah. at you, you're looking at me. They I can tell each you my other. favorite feature about you. To be honest, I actually, I'm looking at you, right? Uh -huh. But your sunglasses are so dark, I cannot see your eyes. Because eyes are the window to the soul. It's a lot of dangerous stuff. It's, it's a, lot a lot of lot demons. Of <laughs> you, might well, lose, you might lose your life. It's but mad. It, why are you wearing sunglasses, though, and we're inside? I'm protecting <laughs> myself from the demons, the makes frequencies, bro. Makes sense. Okay. I can't let people into my soul. Don't do that. Don't do it, do it now. Okay. Next thing, I'll be out here on, on Bricks and High Street selling reggae CDs and incense. <laughs> I lose my mind. Okay, okay. I can't do that. That's right. why. But you, my favorite features on you. I you got beautiful hair, and beautiful eyes. You got oh, beautiful thank eyes. you. Yeah. Eyes. A lot of people say my eyes are my best yeah, features. Yeah, it's very thank like you. piercing. I like that stuff. Nice. So would you break up with a guy if his sex was dead? Probably, yeah. How much leeway did you give him? Like first time, second time? You're like, bruv. To be fair, when you have these two inches, bruv. It's when you have sex work. with someone the first time, it sometimes isn't going to be amazing, just because you mm. don't. Sometimes you don't know what each other like, like what you you're both into. So I can, mm. I can, you can let that slide. Interesting. But if it's gone to like, I don't know, you've had sex five times and it's still not. Money, bad. Baby, I feel like you. Money, need to baby, money, baby. What's your pet peeve during sex? Shut up. A pet peeve. Like what something a guy does, like this gives you the ick. Not even during sex. What gives you the ick? Okay, I don't mind dirty talk. That's mm. fine. But I don't like when people like. Like whisper it in your ear. What do you mean? <laughs> Just like it's very like really softly, like a soft whisper. Like on some night stalker thing. <laughs> like just a soft whisper. Like a, a guy did it to me once where he like softly whispered in my ear and I was Ew. like, weird. Matting. But I don't mind, I don't mind dirty talk, but it just has to be like vocalized loudly, not like whispered in my ears. Talk, how soon do you get into the dirty talk? I don't think hey, on the first. I don't, not on the first Trap time. Trap JVCK, mm -hmm. just build, subscribe. Build yeah, I, I think it. you should build You can't up. be calling someone like a dirty sl like first time mm. you've had sex. You're going to let that marinate. You get no. me? Let let, why would actually, that even right? fly out your mouth? No cap shorty could probably slob a mean knob with that snorkel she got. Tell MFAO. Slapper on Instagram. It's, it slid into my DMs. You call me a slapper. What's 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 what's, in, what's his Instagram so we can tell him to suck his mum, bro? Disrespecting the girl. Slapper. Do them things. But I just think that's such an old school word as well. Would you call a girl a slapper? That's such like. What slapper? does that even mean? Like, what does that mean though? Like a slapper. A slapper's like a slag, a slut. It's like a dirty girl. A, like. Yeah. A dirty girl. Yeah. Then one day. No, no, no. But it's just such an old word. I don't really, I don't really insult women and stuff like that. I think it's a bit mad. I can't argue with girls. Then it's nice. like, it's I feel like if I'm doing that, then I got next thing I got to be on RuPaul's Drag Race, bruv, arguing with girls. <laughs> that. You get me? Like yeah. it's gonna be a bit mad. I can't be arguing with girls. That's yeah. a bit mad. That's life, Jay. You can't be out here. Wrong button. You can't be out here arguing with gal. You can't do that, Chad. What's like your limits for the guy? Like, how much does a guy have to be earning to date you? <clears throat> and here's the thing, I wouldn't ask that on a date though. I wouldn't on a first date be like, right, how much are you earning? Because mm. <laughs> it's just such like, it's, a, it's so materialistic. But you've got to know that because what if like you get with man, he's like, yo, you, you meet in a club, you've seen Rollies, Bottles, money, all baby, that, and then next day's like, you're amazing. Baby, money, put your head to jobs in it to get that universal credit. Riesel, clap your face off and bust these shorts. What does that, he, I don't even think he ever said bust the shorts. You just making shit up now. <laughs>
happens then? I've been out with a lot of poor guys though, a lot of poor men, and it hasn't like. What's your definition of poor though? Like what you can't you got to turn well, his boxes no, inside was, out this, and shit. No, so, like, we use that. Turn his boxes inside <laughs> out. This was really stupid. Out. This is where I I drew the line personally. Like we'd been dating for a little bit, and then he was like, "Oh, I can't, I can't come and see you today because like I can't afford my petrol." To, to get to. But that's bearing, not bad, in mind, bearing in mind, he only lived like 20 minutes away. Imagine. And I was like, no, You could have walked, man. We could have, I would have been a disciple for the man, bread. I would have literally been like, Yo, let me You would have got on the bike. Now I would have walked it, you get me? Quick little brisk, essential walks in there. You get me? You've got to do what you've got to do. I've travelled I've traveled many lengths and far and I've very far places for the I've travelled for the day. How far have you travelled huh? for the day? I mean, definitely out, out of the M25. Yeah, mm, what are we talking I've gone past that, like, the M25 to get to the D. Where's that, like Slough? <laughs> Slough is a mad place, bruv. Like, it's got to be within reach, So it? how far did you travel, though? Like, if we had to give a city, is like Birmingham? I've been to Birmingham, yeah. I dated a guy Keynes in Birmingham. In uh, yeah, well, actually, one of my ex-boyfriends, he lived in Milton Keynes. So, mm. Mm, so is that how far you travelled for the, for the Willie and that? For, for the D, yeah. I travelled all the way to Portsmouth for some, for some nine bread. Was it, was it worth the journey? Mm, to be fair, it was, you know, because she ended up being like a stripper. It was just a bit awkward because when we went out, Bear Man was watching her and I was like, I was like, how you know these people? These are your neighbours and that. Like, but surely, right, if you're looking for someone who's like not obsessed with money and mm. it's just like all about you and in love with you, surely in a way it might be a good thing to date someone like a stripper because they're earning their own money. They're not like after you for like, you know, that means bare men have seen my girl's non bread. It's kind of a weird feeling, bruv. Like, That's a weird me, like, feeling, imagine, shit. Man just coming up to me, chatting to me, and with my girl, and they're just looking up and down like, raw, like, I've seen everything, bruv. I've seen it in HD, bruv. <laughs> seen that shit in 4K, bruv. Give me another example of what you mean by, like, broke. To be fair, like, I have a lot of friends, though, who are on, like, Universal Credit and stuff like that. Because when you're, like, a creative, like, sometimes you're just out of work and you have to... Shit, yeah, that's you know, So then what if he's not. like, yo, babes, like, he's on the Universal Credit thing, he's like, yo, babes, I'm literally just the eighth mixtape, it's about to blow. It's just, Dreams and Dreams and Nightmares, Volume 25. Like, this is gonna be the one. You've been with him from Street Dreams, Volume 1. Now, Street Dreams 59. Mm. He's like, babes, this is gonna be the one, yeah? And you're like, Bev, you're gonna wait for him until he blows up? Or I think leave? it's good that he has passion for something, yeah. that he's got passion for his music and whatever. Makes sense to me. And yeah, I probably would stay with him, but if it's like, oh yeah, I'm working on my music, but then in the evening, yeah. I'm you know, getting high and whatever. It's like, okay, well, you're not really committing to your work. Would you stay if his music's dead? Mm, that'd his be quite hard his music, would you be honest and be like, Baze, I'd be that honest That would be with you. quite hard to support, yeah. So would you, would you go up to me like, Baze, let's, let's call a spade a spade, like your mixtape's dead, like, what are we saying? <laughs> would you tell him that? Would you be real with him? I feel like you should be honest with, with Somebody people. need to tell Chet they mixtape boy. That's like, your oh, fucking you problem. so cool. And then in my head, I'm thinking, oh my God, it's fucking shit. So, so you tell him to his face and crush his soul. I think I would say, but I wouldn't say it like that. I wouldn't say, oh, your music's dead. So how would you I say would, it? How would you, how would you I would like, you know, a soft blow, like not. But what if then he <laughs> says like, babes, you know, the music was keeping me going. I'm going to jump in front of this train now. You just ruined my life. <laughs> But then I wouldn't want to be with someone that insecure who's going to mm. like just suddenly go jump off a bridge because I've said their music. That's life, Chad. I don't know what to tell you. Reese, your mixtape not even going platinum. Shut your funky ass up. How you going to try to tell me my mixtape wouldn't go platinum when the streets... Shut up! You know exactly what I'm trying to say. Motherfucker out here holding it down and y'all going to tell me. Fucking goofy ass Chad. Choose you. Could I rely on you? Yeah, 100%. I think we've built a little, like I said, I think we've built a bit of a connection. Mm. I feel I've been very honest with you about like what I'm after and mm. like where, I, where I'm at in life. Yeah. So yeah. What are your traumas? There's a lot. Again. What? Motherfucker, that's how they gonna tell us that's the ending? That don't even make no fucking sense. That don't even make no goddamn sense, bro. I'm done with this. Stop making noise with the notifications. Is that what y'all think is fun? Fucking goofy ass. Why do I let a penny make noise? That don't even make fucking sense. Does a penny even make noise in a well? I don't even think that makes noise when you throw it in a well. You you could throw a penny in a well and don't make noise. Why the fuck does it make a noise here? That's a good question. 